Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on objective questions and answer for welding process. So this is part number four, which will be containing with most important 20 question list. So let us start with our question number one. In resistance welding, the pressure is released. Option A, just at a time of passing the current. Option B, after completion of current, option C, after the weld cools and option D, during the heating period. So basically in case of the resistance welding, the pressure is always released after the weld cool. Then after it will be for a second spot or you can say second locations. So option C, after the weld cools. The next, up to what thickness of plate? Age preparation for welding is not required. Option A, 4 mm. Option B, 6 mm. Option C, 8 mm. And option D, 10 mm. So basically up to 4 mm thickness of the plates, the age preparation for welding is not required. So option A. The next question. Preheating is essential in welding. Option A. High carbon steel, option B, stainless steel, option C, aluminium and option D, cast iron. So basically preheating is essential for cast iron weldings. So the right answer is option D. The next question, laser welding finds widest applications in option A. Heavy industry, option B, structural work, option C, electronic industries and option D, process industry. So basically, nowadays a laser having a maximum applications in the field of electronic industries. So if it will be the requirements of the very critical situations. So that will be used basically for electronic industries. The next, TIG welding is best suited for welding. Option A, mild steel. Option B, stainless steel. Option C, carbon steel. And option D, aluminium. So basically, the TIG welding which is best suited for aluminium welding. So the option D. The next question, the temperature of plasma torch is of order of. Option A, 10,000 degree centigrade. Option B, 27,000 degree centigrade. Option D, 33,000 degree centigrade and option D, 50,000 degree centigrade. So as from the specifications for plasma torch, the temperature of the plasma, it will be around 33,000 degree centigrade. So right answer is option C. The next, the advantage of electro slag welding are option A, ability to weld metals of great thickness in a single plus without calling for joint preparation. Option B, high welding speed. Option C, protection from contamination. And option D, all of the above. So basically, the most advantage of the electro slag welding are ability to weld metals of great thickness in a single pass without calling for a joint preparation, high welding speed and protection from contaminations. So, and we can also considering as a little distortions and the good stress distributions across the wheel. So, for this, that will be the right answer is option D, all of the above. The next, the melting point of the filler matter in brazing should be above. Option A, 420 degrees centigrade. Option B, 600 degrees centigrade. Option C, 800 degrees centigrade and option D 900 degree centigrade. So for the brazings, the melting point of my filler metals that will be around 420 degree centigrade. So option A. The next question, arc length in arc welding should be nearly equal to option A diameter of electrode, option B 1.5 of diameter, then option C twice the diameter and option D thrice the diameter. So basically in arc length 
in arc welding should be nearly equal to diameter of electrodes so right answer is option a the next the maximum flame temperature occurs at option a the tip of the flame option b the inner cone option c next to the inner cone and option d at the outer cone so the melting point of generally that will be just you can see the figure so it will be the different three kind of flames and just you can see for the neutral flames the inner cone which will be having a 3300 degree centigrade temperature and outer envelope it will be around 1260 degree so for that the inner side that will be having a maximum temperature range so the right answer is b the inner cone the next distortion in welding occurs due to option a use of excessive current option b improper clamping methods option c use of wrong electrodes and option d oxidation of weld pool so basically distortion in welding occurs due to the improper clamping methods so that will be a right answer is option b the next question oxygen to acetylene ratio in case of neutral flame is option a 0.8 to 1 option b 1.2 each to 1 option c 1 each to 1 and option d 2 each to 1 so basically oxygen to acetylene ratio in case of the neutral flame that will be 1 each to 1 or you can say 50 percent of oxygen and 50 percent of acetylene so option c the next the following gas is used in tungsten inert gas welding process option a acetylene option b oxygen option c hydrogen and option d argon so for the TIG welding process or you can say MIG welding process the argon that will be used as an inert gas so the right answer is option d argon the next question neutral flame has option a one zone option b two zone option c three zone and option d none of the above so basically neutral flame which will be having a two zones so just you can see the figure and that will be the first figure that will be for a neutral flames so that will be having a inner cone and outer envelope so only two zones for a neutral flame if you work for a carburizing or you can say reducing flame so that will be having a three zones so for neutral flame it will be two zones so the right answer is option b the next question in forehand gas welding operations the angle between the torch and work is kept around option a 30 degree option b 45 degree option c 60 degree and option d 75 degree so basically for forehand welding operations the angle between the torch and work that will be around 45 degree then and then you will get a sound wheel or you can say that will be more comfortable for performing a welding process the next question TIG welding is best suited for welding option a mild welding option b stainless steel option c carbon steel and option d aluminium so basically TIG welding that will be more suited for a uh, aluminium so right answer is option d the next question the following flux is used for brazing cast iron option a mixer of boric acid borax and wetting agent option b chlorides and fluorides mix with water option c boric acid borax or you can say fluoride with wetting agent and option d all of the above so basically the boric acid borax or you can say fluoride with wetting agent that will be used for brazing cast iron so option c the next question gray cast iron is best welded by option a oxyacetylene option b mig welding option c tig and option d saw or you can say submerged arc welding so basically for gray cast irons that will be utilization as a oxyacetylene that will be the base suited welding process so right answer is option a 
So basically teak that will be used for a uh, aluminium. The next which of the following carbon steels is most valuable? Option A 1% carbon, option B 0.75% carbon, option C 0.25% carbon steel and option D 0.15% carbon steel. So as from the practical concern, the 0.15% carbon steels that will be most valuable carbon steels. So right answer is option D. Then last question. For welding mild steels, the following arc welding is most suitable. Option A, AC with straight polarity. Option B, DC with straight polarity. Option C, AC with reverse polarity. And option D, DC with reverse polarity. So for maximum applications for mild steel and that will be AC with straight polarity is being used. So option A. So I hope you understand this. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.